So hello again guys, uh, we are continuing module <coughs> 5 lesson 3 which talks about periodic trends so module 5 lesson 3 okay which talks about periodic trends and now we are going to talk about other periodic trends mainly ionization energy and electron negativity so in part 1 if you remember in part 1 we talked about atomic radius and ionic radius okay so we will learn or we will after this video you should be able to define ionization energy explain why each successive ionization of an electron requires greater amount of energy predict the changes of ionization energy across the periodic table Define electron negativity and predict the changes of the electron negativity across the periodic table. So when I see the word when I say the word predict, it means how does it change from the left to the right and from up to down. Okay? So what's ionization energy, guys? So ionization energy is defined as the energy required to remove an electron from a gaseous atom. Yeah, a gaseous atom yani fil Okay? What does that mean? Imagine you have an atom nucleus and you have an electron here so ionization energy is the energy you need to give to remove this electron why because there is attraction between the positive and the negative to remove the electron we need to give energy we need to put force and remove it right so this energy is called ionization energy okay so the energy required to remove the first electron if we have more el many electrons right it's it's only two electrons in the first energy level if we have two electrons to remove the first one we call this energy the first ionization energy okay to remove the second one okay it requires more energy and it's called the second ionization energy to remove the third third ionization energy fourth fourth ionization energy and so on okay <coughs> so each successive ionization energy requires more energy so electron so for example if we remove the first electron for example we need 10 joules if we remove the second electron maybe we need 25 joules if we remove the third electron maybe we need let's say 70 joules of energy and so on this is what we mean by this point guys okay and ionization energy it creates positive ions electron if you remember from part one if we lose or remove an electron we create a positive ion okay so the ionization energy is the energy required to create a positive ion or remove an electron okay this is the figure that you see uh, in your book this is the atomic number in the x-axis and this is the first ionization energy in kilojoule per mole this is the first ionization energy of elements in periods one to five okay So these are the elements in period 2, these are the elements in period 3, okay guys, these are the elements in period 4, so as you can see, if you go in a period from the left to the right, the ionization energy is increasing, going up, right, it's going up, it's going up, it's going up, all right, so, the first ionization energy increases from left to the right. So when you go from the left to the right, the ionization energy is going to increase. Okay? And when you go from up to down, the first ionization energy decreases. Okay? Why does it decrease? Because the atomic size increases. So for example, when you go down, the electron is in the first energy level then it's in the second energy level, then it's in the third energy level, so it becomes far away from the nucleus. The farther the electron from the nucleus, the weaker the attraction. 
So it's easier to remove it. We don't need big energy or a lot of energy. That's why when you go down, the ionization energy decreases, okay? And when you go to the right, the ionization energy is going to increase. Why? Because when we go to the right, we are having more protons, okay? And we are going to see that in the next few slides, okay? So first of all, what is the definition of ionization energy? Stop the video and come back. So it's number B, energy required to remove an electron from a gaseous atom, okay? Which statements correctly describe the periodic trends of ionization energy in the periodic table? What happens to ionization energy? You can stop the video now and then come back. All right. So the correct answers are the following. Down a group, when you move down a group, the energy decreases. And across a period, the ionization energy increases. And this is what we saw here guys right so let's check uh, our understanding of the ionization energy which one will have the biggest or order these atoms based on their ionization energy do you see these atoms order them based on their ionization energy so what happens from left to the right the ionization energy decreases right uh, sorry the ionization energy increases so which one is the correct answer it's going to be number four now السؤال, why does it increase from left to right why does it increase so the reason is that because when we go from the left to the right look at the atomic number so, the positive nuclear charge increases from the left to the right. So, because the positive nuclear charge increases, so the nucleus is going to attract or pull the electrons in a stronger way. So, it becomes more difficult to remove them. That's why we need bigger energy to remove them, okay? And when we go from up to down, the ionization energy decreases because the atomic size increases and the electrons are further away from the nucleus, like we explained here, if you remember, just to refresh your memory, remember? Like we explained here. So, that's why the ionization energy decreases down a group. So, you need to understand these reasons, guys, okay? And you can repeat the video as much as... Uh, you want okay so let's just have a quick activity guys to re revise the octet rule and uh, and uh, the ionization energy I skipped two slides here which you can have in the PowerPoint okay this is the octet rule we explained it in part one if you remember we talked about it in part one I explained it before because we talked about the ionic radius, but here it is. You can read it on your own and you know the PowerPoint. I will leave the link below the video for the PowerPoints so that you can read it again on your own. If you have any questions, you can always ask me in the comments section or contact. So try and solve these questions. guys. Using this, fill in the gaps using these words. Okay. Stop the video and come back. So. Uh, noble gases follow the octet rule because they have eight valence electrons. Remember, we said they will always have a full S and P orbitals in the highest energy level. And the energy used to remove a valence electron from an atom is called the, so remove a valence electron from an atom is called the ionization energy. All right. Okay. Now, guys, we talked about atomic radius. Okay. We talked about ionization energy. Now we are going to talk about electron negativity. All 
all right so we are going to talk about electron uh, negativity and what do we mean by electron negativity electron negativity of an element indicates its relative ability to attract electrons in a chemical bond so electron negativity here قدره جذب الذره للالكترونات في الروابط الكيميائية. Okay. So that's the definition of an electron negative of electron negativity. Now, electron negativity is attracting or pulling electrons. That's what we mean by it. So if you have high electron negativity, it means you pull electrons in a strong way. If you have low electron negativity, so electron negativity decreases down a group and increase and increases from the left to the right. So it's similar to ionization energy. Okay. So imagine you have <coughs> two atoms. Okay. This atom has an electron and this atom has an electron and they share it. They share it between themselves. So actually, these two electrons, sometimes they are closer to this atom. They are closer to this atom. Why? Because this atom has bigger electron negativity. They are shared. But because this one has bigger electronegativity, so the electrons will live here. If the atoms have the same electronegativity, they will live in the middle. They are shared equally. So we'll talk about this more in module 7, inshallah. Okay? But all I want you to remember is the definition of electronegativity and what happens to it when you go from left to the right and up to down. Do you see these values? هاي الأرقام اللي تحت 0.98, 0.93, 0 0.82. These are the electron negativity values in polling. هذا system, the polling system that tells you which atom has biggest or lowest electron negativity. So which atom has the biggest electron negativity here? Fluorine. من اليسار اليمين تزداد. And from up to down it decreases. Which one has the lowest electron negativity? Down here. Francium. Okay. Now let's check our understanding. Now order uh, these atoms based on the decreasing or order. Uh, choose the correct order of decreasing electronegativity, guys. يعني رتبهم الأكبر للأصغر. Okay, من الأكبر للأصغر. That's going to be our answer. Number two. Because we know when you go from left to right, the size will increase, right? So this one is bigger than scandium, then calcium, then potassium. Then I told you, we from the bigger to the smaller. Meaning, the ratio is tenazuli. The ratio is tenazuli. So in a decreasing order or descending order. How did we know? We knew from the trend. Okay, from left to right, they increase. From up to down, they Electronegativity decreases. All right, guys? All right. Uh, these are links for you. I will leave in the PowerPoint. Uh, it talks more about electronegativity. And you have EduShare links with some fun animation videos that can help you understand more about electronegativity. Okay? So we covered all of these uh, periodic trends, guys. Atomic radius, ionic radius, ionization energy, and electronegativity. Okay. And this is a summary of the main concepts that we talked about. Okay. So atomic radius in red from left to right decreases up to down, increases. Ionic radii, so cations are the positive ions. Anions are the negative ions. We'll talk about them later. Again, similarly, they in decrease from left to right and increase from up to down. Ionization energy in Fogel-Tacht, 
تنقص من اليسار اليمين تزيد الكترون نيجاتيفيتي از سيميلر سو ايونايزيشن انرجي اند الكترون نيجاتيفيتي ار سيميلر جايز اوكي اند ذي ار ذا اوبوزيت اوف ذا اتوميك راديوس سو ليتس كويز اور سيلفز اند ذن فينيش ذا ليسن سو موفينج ليفت تو رايت ويزن ا بيريد اتوميك راديوس جنرالي from left to right what happens to the atomic radius it decreases okay moving down within a group atomic radius generally so if we go from up to down atomic radius increases so if we go from the left to right what happens to the ionization energy the ionization energy increases finally atoms tend to gain lose or shell electrons to acquire how many valence electrons This is the octet rule. So to acquire eight electrons, guys. Okay. So that's the end of module five, lesson three, guys. Uh, thank you for watching the video. Again, if you have any questions, you can always leave a comment in the comment section or you can contact me. And please, uh, if you did not subscribe to the channel, subscribe, share it with your friends and ask them to subscribe. Uh, so that the number of subscribers increases and more students can find it when they search on YouTube. Okay, guys? So thank you very much. Wish you the best of luck. And take care. See you in the next video, inshallah.